Welcome to Chasing Tents. My name is Abby. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. This video is going to be very, very special because I'm going to be sharing loads and loads of gift ideas for any occasion. And that's one of the top reasons on the 1st of December, I'm not wearing my Christmas jumper because I didn't want you guys to think that this video is all about Christmas. Just like that old saying, like a puppy or a dog is not for Christmas, it's for life. This video is also for life and any occasion. Now, most importantly, guys, what I'm not going to be sharing in this video is some Amazon links or eBay links. Things. I'm going to be giving you loads of proper ideas. Also, I'm going to be encouraging you, you guys to kind of use your local uh, people, not like massive chains, but local businesses who've been really struggling du during the COVID times. And also this Black Friday, which we've just had, also squeezes so much out of these businesses. I mean, who wants to give 15, 20, 25 percent uh, discount codes? And that's why I didn't call a lot of the companies to get discount codes to give you these gift ideas. I'm not going to be unboxing things or or just sharing um, discount codes and squeeze these companies even more. You know, just, you know, support local, support British if you're in the UK or America or anywhere around the world. So this is one thing I really wanted to mention. So I use people like uh, Road Race Performance Shropshire in the UK, uh, in the UK, uh, Bike HPS in the UK, uh, MCA Lester, Dean Ellison, a lot of people know him, and Dr. Bikes. So these are the uh, local companies I use. So I encourage you guys to use either them or any anything you think is best. Also, guys, let's start with the list. There's going to be no drone footage, no music in this video. I'm going to be absolutely on it and going through everything. So get yourself a cup of tea or beer or mulled wine. You know, season is for the mulled wine and we'll go through everything. So first on my list is very much a common sense theme, especially if you're in the UK, Motorcycle Live, which is a massive, massive kind of motorcycle show in the NEC Birmingham in the UK, which is like ECMA in Italy, you know, massive show. Most importantly, not just to, uh, you know, to, to take your loved one to see other bikes, you can uh, kind of hold, feel many things, helmets, jackets, all sorts of things, you know, custom earplugs. I mean, many, many things, bike protection, all sorts. So, that's one of the things I really wanted to mention in this video, Motorcycle Live. I'll be there. It's between 4th of December, I think, and the 11th of December. And so, yeah, take your loved one there. That's one of the first ideas. Secondly, Moto, uh, kind of um, your phone holder. So there's a company called Cordlock. It's very popular. Uh, these days with modern phones, these kind of autofocus things on our cameras can be uh, kind of um, can stop working uh, due to the vibrations on the bike. So this is a great company. And, uh, you know, if you put your uh, phone on there, it just kind of stops vibrations and all sorts. OK, next on my list is bike covers, mats, helmet covers, personalized, non-personalized, breathable, indoor, outdoor. Now, there's a company called Kura Bike. Uh, I've used their products before. You can have anything you want, your face, your company name, anything on um, on the mat or the bike cover you can actually have the bike's picture uh, on the bike uh, cover you can have whatever you want on the helmet as well there's other companies like sc moto in the uk which is which does a really tightly fitted cover as well i quite like that as well next one on my list is bike valet kit muck off do amazing kits you can search whatever you want online whatever you prefer but bike valet kit is really good to keep the bike clean Worth chain lube, chain lubes, chain cleaners, very popular. Worth is a great company. It doesn't fling, uh, or you can search online or or, or YouTube uh, for the best kind of uh, tested um, uh, chain cleaner and uh, chain lube. Next one on my list, something quite different uh, in the UK, especially Robertson, uh, refreshing your leathers, leather repairs cleaning the leathers. There's another company called Adele Leathers. So you can search uh, on Google if you want and support your local business. Uh, so, you know, we've got leathers which are messy and if we don't want to clean it, we can send it for cleaning or rip leathers from a crash and these people can sort it out. Next one, shiny side up motorcycle valet. You can actually book a proper valet for your bike full valet half valet whatever this company is fantastic the gentleman is brilliant is very friendly i've heard great things about them so okay next one uh, turbo blaster bike dryer now uh, a lot of us uh, wash our bikes but then we struggle to really dry it properly uh, you know this bike blaster is like a big hair dryer really and it gets rid of all the water because water is kind of you know causes of many things moisture rust all sorts. Next one, a 3M layer on your bike. Now, if your loved one loves his or her bike a lot, you know, and they mainly use it for the road and, and not the track, and they really want to keep it pristine, there's a plastic layer you can put on the bike. You can book 
uh, your uh, partner, your loved one for that, the whole bike will be covered or special kind of panels will be covered with this thin layer which protects it from stone chips and all sorts of damage which can happen while riding on the road or even track. Okay, next one is tire blankets. This is very popular at the moment. Loads and loads of people have got these modern bikes now and uh, uh, people are taking them on the racetrack uh, during late autumn, early spring and because they've got traction control and all sorts, people are feeling more and more comfortable. Now, a lot of people also uh, have their bikes right next to the pit lane. Uh, the wind can cool the rim of the tire, the, uh, the, the, the wheel. So uh, uh, these kind of tire blankets go on top of your tire warmers. Uh, kind of to keep the temperature uh, stable. So really a uh, good idea. Uh, road race performance do a thermal race version of them uh, and also there are there's another company called track day tires I think they do them and also AS racing in the UK they do them as well. So have a look online you will find them. Okay next one is tire blanket we've done tire bags. Bike HPS do them, uh, tire bags. So uh, if you want to store your tires safely in the garage or transport them, there are bags for the tires. You can safely put them. There's a handle, fantastic, very convenient. I've got some in the garage. I put my tires in it and just hang it on the wall. They're bloody brilliant. Next one, you've got ACF 50, uh, you know, or uh, any kind of rust protection for the bike. You know, these days, especially in the winter, we've, we're storing the bike in the garage. ACF 50 is great, spray it, uh, you know, and protects your bike from rust, moisture, all sorts. Uh, next one uh, is uh, brackets for cameras. So Kelfab is someone in the UK who can make custom brackets for your cameras, action cameras or touring, uh, you know, wherever you want to put the camera on the bu bike, if you want a specialized place. Uh, this gentleman called Kelfab, his business is called online, he can make a custom bracket for you. Then you've got grip puppies. So these are like foam grips for your grips. So if you've got big, big, massive hands or you just like uh, kind of a thicker grip uh, and also a soft grip and also you want to reduce vibrations on long uh, touring and stuff like that. I wouldn't really recommend this for uh, track days or racing because you kind of lose the feel of the acceleration a little bit because it's, it's very kind of... Uh, soft so grip puppies are great for those long rides where vibrations can really tie you especially if you've got an old custom bike you know the the kind of clip-ons or the handlebars can really rattle a bit and these can lower that okay next one domino grips uh, so these are completely opposite to those uh, grip puppies thin rubber ones really well made domino grips on their own you can also have grip covers so there are covers which go on top of the domino grips so if you are moving your bike in the garage or you just want to protect the the kind of rubber on the domino grip from getting kind of uh, you know in the winter in the garage they get a bit uh, the rubber kind of tears up a bit domino is fantastic but still you can protect them with these grip covers you can get them from road race performance uh, you know uh, Shropshire you know these are very common also if you are feeling a bit generous you can actually buy domino quick action throttle a very popular upgrade for the bike where you don't have to do a full kind of turn like this with your wrist you can do half and you know it's it, i've done a full video on quick action throttles you can search my channel for a quick action throttle video it's great it's fantastic next we go to heated grips from oxford oxford have been doing heated grips for a very long time and they know a thing or two about these not very expensive look for them if you do road riding they are perfect for spring autumn winter fantastic next one axle protection now when your bike falls one of the first things which gets damaged is clip-ons kind of brake levers we will go talk about that later but also your kind of uh, shock forks uh, not not shock forks your front forks and your rear swing arm and stuff so these malotti um axle protections you can get them from RNG, GB, uh, racing, whatever you prefer. But I use Malotti because they've got the axle nut based in them. Very light, made from Ergol aluminium, very strong. I've done videos on them and Road Race Performance uh, sell them. They're fantastic. They're Italian. They look beautiful and they're purposeful. They're metal. Bike falls down, crash, nothing happens to your swing arm, um, you know, kind of, and, and the front forks. Okay, next one on the list. Straps, you know, people are transporting their bikes all the time, whether it's for... Uh, kind of uh, taking it for servicing or track days racing all sorts 
If you speak to your loved one, most of the times uh, some of the straps are quite old, they're battered, they're rusted even because some people leave them in their trailers and during the winter they get rusted. So get them some new straps, uh, you know, to secure the bike, uh, you know, which is fantastic. Next one uh, is a tire repair puncture kit, something very common. It comes in handy. Good quality tire repair puncture kit. Next one. Guardsman security or general security. So Guardsman is a company in the UK. They do all sorts of garage security. I'm not linked to them in any ways, but I like their products. I think there's a, a, a famous YouTuber in the UK called Missident Flyer. I think he's got some discounts with them. So feel free to see his channel. I think you can get some discount on various products. Ground anchor, chains, disc locks, whichever company you prefer, make sure they are Tatcham insurance uh, kind of uh, certified because I actually got, when I used to do a lot of road riding, I got uh, um, 56 pounds off because I, my chain was Tatcham approved. So they can be really, really fantastic. Okay, next one is bike track tracker. Now I, I use a bike track tracker. A lot of the track day bikes or even road bikes, uh, you know, you, you are insured. Yes, fair enough. But, you know, protection is everything. So there are loads of trackers out there. Bike track has got a monthly subscription, $9.99 a month. You buy a tracker. There are other ones out there. Search online, look at YouTube, which is best, you know, whichever you can afford, go for that. But Tracker uh, is, is a great idea. It's massive peace of mind, especially if you've got a track or race bike, which is not insured uh, and it's only in the garage. OK, next one is um, photochromic visor. These days you are, you've got normal visors, which uh, are fantastic. Now, in terms of visors, please buy proper stuff they can be from 50 to 100 pounds uh, normal visors but you know that agv pista at the back a massive stone hit me at harath and i could just you know it just jolted me you know i don't know how that stone was on the track but that visor didn't crack get a good quality visor but these photo the photochromic ones they get dark when the sun goes uh, when the sun when there's when it's sunny it gets dark uh, the visor gets dark and when it's uh, when the sun goes it gets clear so great ones they're bit i think shuey does them um and uh, i think mca lester uh they they sell them as well okay next one on the list is uh jump starter now yes we've got trickle chargers and that is one of the points as well trickle charger trickle charger a smart trickle charger is great Okay, what I mean by smart trickle charger, I'm digressing, I know, but it's, it's meaningful, trust me. Smart trickle charger is something where it plays around with the charge. So it's not overcharging all the time. It lets the battery deplete slightly and then it charges it up. So your battery life increases. Okay, so smart trickle charger by UASA or any other company, uh, CTEC or um, a NOCO. There's many chargers out there. Look for smart chargers. Then you've got this thing I mentioned earlier. Tiny jump starters for uh, road bikes or track bikes. You know, sometimes you get stuck, your battery is dead, you know, and these days, um, you know, we've got bikes which could be heavy, uh, you know, the t kind of push start doesn't work sometimes. So uh, the, 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 these jump starters are this tiny, you know, and they're fantastic. So get one of them, uh, which is fantastic. Next one is ventilated caliper piston. This is something totally different. So um, a lot of people suffer from heat issues in their calipers and I'm going to do a proper video on this one. I put this on something totally different out of the ordinary. You get these pistons for your calipers which are vented, okay? They uh, kind of keep the uh, kind of calipers cool, the brakes cool. It's just better performance on the track. I'll do a proper video uh, on it another day. Next one, we've got bar and mirrors. Now custom bikes uh, and all sorts of bikes. People are really going for these bar and mirrors these days. They don't stick out that much. I know Triumph ones are fantastic. You, you know, they fold in, fold out, but they don't stick out that much and they're a great accessory. Next is on the list is Wheelie Days is uh, someone I came across. Uh, you know, book a kind of like, just like you book a track day, you book a day with them, how to learn to wheelie, okay? And uh, this is great for someone, uh, these days we got 200 horsepower bikes and wheelie is easy. This, this is great for people to get comfortable with wheelies on the track or on the road, so you don't really get uh, petrified. But also it's great fun to wheelie in a controlled environment. So wheelie days, uh, I'm not connected to them in any ways, but they do wheelie stuff. So, you know, book it for your loved one. Next one, rider coaching on track and off track. Now, 
Mike, Ed, we, we are in the UK, we've got some fantastic tracks, we've got great coaches, uh, great ex-British superbike riders, great, great, great people who can teach us many things. So Mike Edwards, whom I used uh, this year for online coaching at Mallory Park Circuit, and I was two and a half seconds faster, online coaching only from my videos, a great chap. Next one, you've got uh, Jamie Witham track days, great, limited amount of people, Fantastic guy, Jamie Witham. You might have seen him on Eurosport, um, ex-British superbike rider. Uh, then you've got Dean Ellison, fantastic chap, uh, ex-British superbike rider as well. He is really good. You know, all sorts of videos you will get. He will really coach you properly. Then you've got NotSoFast.com, great bunch of people, very thorough. Gary Walton, nice chap. Then you've got Simon Crafer, who everyone knows, Grand Prix rider from back in the day from New Zealand. Great chap, MotoGP um, kind of uh, pit lane uh, commentator, fantastic person. Okay, next one is uh, tire pressure sensors. They are getting really, really common these days. So this one is FIBO bike to uh, tire pressure sensor. They go on your, uh, those valves, uh, tire valves, and they connect to an app and they can tell you the tire pressure. They buzz if they're too low as well. If you've got a smart watch, also, then you can actually have I2M a bit more high level um, tire pressure sensors for race and track. You can get them from Rogers Performance in the UK. Uh, next one, we move on to Thinkwear Sports M1 dash cam. Now this is for road riders mainly, uh, you know, and uh, they, it's only a two megapixel camera, but it's high definition. And it, it just works like a car dash cam back and front, and they pr provide mounts and everything. So this is for people who really want uh, a video for like two, three, four, five hours, and it will do it. You know, GoPro can stop, uh, you know, but stuff like this can go on and on and on, and you will have detailed footage, and God forbid if something was to happen, you've got some footage for your insurance company. Okay, next we move on to Senna communication system. 10C Pro is great because it's got a camera, it kind of, uh, I've got an AGV uh, Veloce there, which has got it. And um, you can record stuff, you can listen to music. I, I hate, I hate that. But if you, if you want, if you've got a bike, which is really quiet and you're doing a 10 hour journey, listen to music, phone calls, all sorts, great product. Next one on the list is Garmin Zumo XT SatNav. Great big screen, fantastic. Garmin are world leaders in terms of uh, kind of satellite technology, great SatNav. Next one on the list is Pug screens. All sorts of screens Pug do for touring, track days. Uh, MRA do great screens as well. Uh, you know, uh, I use WRS. They, they get used in World Triple Bikes, MotoGP. So these screens, these companies not only do screens for your sports bikes, but also touring. So in spring, autumn, winter, you want to ride, buy yourself a screen. It makes such a huge difference. A lot of people underestimate how much difference a screen makes with Fatigue, neck fatigue, because all the time that wind buffering, you gotta sort your neck out, ears, all sorts. Okay, next one on the list. I've got, I've lost myself here. Toy figurines, uh, uh, it's called uh, Ray toy figurines, or any good quality motorbike toy figurines. I've got a great collection of uh, world championship winning Formula One cars, <coughs> all the way from the 50s until the V10 era. I don't like the hybrid era. So, or you can get motorbike toy figurines. Uh, search online for the best ones, but Ray uh, are quite good. I think they're American. Uh, next one, Cosmo Motor Light Helmet Light. So a light which goes on back of your helmet. If you slow down or stop or go over a speed broom, the light comes on, all sorts of technology in it. Really visible. I think there are some shoes with lights on as well, but this is great. You know, gets on the back of the helmet. Great safety feature if you ride uh, in uh, dark uh, times. Okay, next one is electric scooter for track days. Trust me, great thing. I'm going to buy one very soon. Electric scooter for track days. Race tracks are massive. From going one place to the other, walking is great, but when you've got your leathers on, your inner temperature is soaring, you've got bag protector, all sorts. A little scooter for your loved one on a track day goes a long way. Next, you've got... Uh, Haynes manual, oh, very popular thing. A manual to do stuff on your own bike. I'm rubbish with DIY. Haynes manual can't save me. Nothing can save me. I can't do any DIY on my bike. But get your loved one a Haynes manual, a cheap, nice, great manual to do stuff on the bike. Okay, next, we've got roller seat for garage with tool. Okay, this is great. I love this. It's like a seat for your garage. So when you're working on the bike, you've got a seat. But in that seat, you've got a toolbox 
and also some place to keep your drink and all sorts. I think in America there's a company called Stockton. I've lost myself again here. Um, Stockton in the UK, Excel Moto, Halfords. You can go also. Great idea for the garage. Next is Paddock Stands. Uh, actually, before that, I've got something with a star beer fridge for the garage while we're talking about the garage just a tiny fridge for the for for your beers in the garage great gift for the loved one okay next one we've got uh no more straps a great system uh for your trailer for your van uh, bike goes in you don't need any straps as the name suggests you know uh, no more straps great system i've seen two of my mates have got it ben Vale, massive shout out gogo -Go, massive shout out and it's a great great system next on the list is um paddock stands now two kinds of paddock stands normal ones you know in the winter when your bike is parked in the garage you can get flat spots if your bike is all the time parked in the same spot so lift them up with a paddock stand paddock stands are great for track days or just general servicing as well uh, also dyna motor paddock stands you can actually move them it comes with wheels you can move them anywhere in the garage next one is constant great great product i've been using it for three years on tracks and in the garage my bike at the moment track bike in the garage is on a constant both wheels and tires are up no flat spots you can service it do whatever you want if you want to do extreme lifting of the bike abba sky lift is a great product for your loved one um, you know you can do all sorts of work bike goes this way bike goes that way really lifts up high you know you you don't really need one of those um, uh, benches which go up actually you can that is another gift idea one of those kind of uh, platforms which raises the bike up so you can service the bike uh, i haven't got that on my list but here you go okay next one track days book a track day for your loved one but special ones there's a company called renaissance racing they have kind of replica bikes from the amazing era uh, which you can um, book uh, ride that bike um, i have not spoken to this particular company but i've been to their uh, website i've seen a lot of people posting pictures uh, next one kit bag great product alpine stars do it day and easy do it um i have a, a reasonable cheapy one which is from i think from <clears throat> 24 mx uh, great big huge bag doesn't cost a lot of money but stores a lot of things also you can get a bag if you if you uh, ride on the road uh, just like a, a, a backpack, a small bag uh, for the uh, for the road or track as well. But a kit bag is amazing. Next one, new tires. Who doesn't like new tires? New rubber for your loved one, uh, road or track. Um, anyone, just have a conversation what they like. You know, we are all grown ups. We don't need Santa coming down the chimney. Speak to your loved one, see what they want. This is a massive list of ideas. This will give you great food for thought for you to have a chat with your uh, uh, other half anyways next one next one next one uh airbag jacket okay uh, mca uh, in leicester uh they do ixon axon uh, airbag jacket alpine stars day and easy this weekend actually this weekend so this is this is the 30th of november today so this weekend i think day and easy from italy are coming to mca leicester i've actually just seen that online a few minutes ago so feel free to go to leicester in uk uh, MCA uh, in Leicester, Dean Ellison land, I love it, in a great place and you can go and chat to the Italians, get yourself a measured suit, I think Dean posted today that he's done 25,000 track miles on his day and easy suit with the airbag system, you know, great reliable system but they've also got Alpine Star airbags and uh, you know you can't put a price on that on these things you know safety is everything and I on which is quite a reasonable airbag. Next one, inner suits for your uh, kind of uh, road and track so you get thermal inner suits for road riding in the winter and for summer you get I use Alpine Star one is fantastic for the summer and for track days and for racing you know when you take your jacket off or leathers off on a track day or after a long road ride uh, it's a massive massive mission you know it gets stuck uh, and also so an inner layer really gives you that breathable layer uh, MC Lester do a 151 uh, breathable layer you know great brand a lot of british superbike riders use it so that's another uh, one for you okay next one is yeah convert your old bike suit into something interesting so there's a lady online i came across called ali ashton ali bond bespoke uh, old suit into a bag conversion so if you've got an old 
you know, leather suit lying around doing nothing. I've got two. And you can convert them into nice bags, you know, for, for not a lot of money. This lady is fantastic, very talented. Next one on the list is a, a GoPro or an Insta360 or an action camera in general. But GoPros are fantastic. At the present moment, this is 2021 December. GoPro 10 is out, is fantastic. GoPro 8 is great. GoPro 9 had some issues. But yeah, GoPro 8 is very reasonable at the moment. Go, black, GoPro 8 black. GoPro 7 black is great. I've got a GoPro 7 black and I've tested the GoPro 10 for three weeks. It's a great product. Next one on the list is GoPro accessories. Now, what I mean, I don't mean like chest uh, kind of bands and stuff like that. These are common accessories. What I mean by that is get an extra battery, you know, a enduro battery, which is a new one, or a, a battery with a longer life. You always need extra batteries for these GoPros and also get an extra SD card. Two top tips. Okay, next one on the list is ram mount to mount these gopros uh, on your bike or even phone uh, you know i still you know for for the phone i think that other company which i mentioned in the beginning uh, i forgot um, the name let me have a quick look quadlock is a great brand but uh, but uh, ram mount does phones but ram mount is brilliant i've done a video uh, on on camera and camera mounts ram mount is fantastic for putting your camera really stays on there not much juddering, you know, it's fantastic. I mean, we've got stabilization on cameras, but it is fantastic. Okay, next one. Tyrox Snap Jack. Tyrox, a American company, it's just like a bit of a side stand thing, uh, kind of, you know, lift your bike enough to do a tire change and just to lift it up uh, for the garage. I mentioned some other solutions earlier, but this is something I found on an American website, quite interesting. Advanced riding course for the road is another one. So if you are only a road rider, there are many advanced riding courses in your particular country. Uh, please do them. They are very, very good. Okay, next one on the list. Earplugs. Massive, massive thing which a lot of people ignore. A lot of Men, I should say, have selective hearing anyways, <laughs> I have. Uh, and so if you don't want your uh, man or your woman to have damage in, ears, uh, in the ears, get them proper custom uh, made uh, good ear protection. I mean, the foam ones are great, you know, disposable ones. I think there's a company called um, MCA Lester sell Moldex one, but loads of companies sell them. Dr. Bikes sell them, uh, you know, and there's another company called uh, UltimateEar.com custom fit guards at motorbike a motorcycle live uh, you know event there are many companies who do uh, these ear protection really great investment trust me ear protection you learn when you get older if you don't ride with them you're going to suffer i'm telling you next one crash consumables when your bike crashes your clip-ons your handlebars get damaged your brake lever can um, if you haven't got the affordable one your brake lever can snap uh, if you're on a track, your lever guards get damaged. So get your, you know, loved one some consumables, foot pegs for uh, rear sets, you know, like uh, where the, we put our, our foot on a bike. So these kind of crash consumables are a really good thing for like Christmas stocking maybe. Okay, next one on the list is helmet coolers. Um, great one if you ride a long, do long ride on the road or track days, fantastic for track days and racing, keeps the helmet cool. There are many companies selling them, many companies. I don't want to recommend anyone. Search online and go to a local business and support them. Okay, next one is a fan, a fan, a simply a fan. Camping or in track days, uh, you know, get a, a fan in a screw fix in the UK. Do a really good fan for track days. It is brilliant. Next one, air pump, lithium battery air pump, road, track, whatever. I've got one uh, from a company. I can't even remember the name now, but it's great. I'll probably put it somewhere in the video, but there are many companies selling lithium battery, very lightweight pumps for your tires, for the bike. You know, so easy. They show you the pressure. Fantastic. Next one on the list, battery charger. I've already mentioned that, I think. Fuel oxidizer, K100. Now, I've been actually during the winter time, as I've stored all my bikes, um, I've been looking into stabilizing the fuel because of the ethanol thing. I'll do a proper video on that uh, in three days time. So please do watch that, uh, how, you know, winterizing the bike, especially with ethanol fuel these days. Ethanol 10% we've got, it's unbelievable. Anyways, K100, I came across a product which you put in your tank, fill your tank with fuel if you're going to store it, put this thing in it, it just 
saves it from getting stale. It, could, it kind of stabilizes, neutralizes that ethanol because ethanol absorbs moisture. It ruins everything, you know, massive thing. So uh, another, another kind of nice little cheap uh, item. Okay, next one on the list is heater fan for the garage. Just a heating fan for the garage. We love to stay at our bikes in the garage. So get your, get your other half a fan, a heater fan for the garage. Okay, next one. Oil, oil filter, air filter, full service kit. Who doesn't like consumables? You know, we go through every, uh, after every long journey, uh, you know, um, I used to, a very, very long journey, I used to service my bike. You know, I'm a bit methodic and a bit crazy. After every two track days, I change oil. So yeah, oil filter, air filter, you can't go wrong with that. Speak to your partner, you know what, what he will tell you. Personalized logo, something quite different. A lot of people like to have personalized, lo personalized logo on their helmet or on their suit, on the racetrack or on the road. They wanted to have a personalized identity. Uh, there's a company, uh, there's a guy in the UK called Rob AK Race Designs, a very popular chap. Or you can go to Fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. Loads of people from all around the world on there. They can do, uh, you know, um, logos. And I, I got my logo done three years ago from someone in Malaysia, you know. So great, great thing. Next one, helmet cleaning kit. Our helmets can get stinky gets crap you know water is best to clean helmets i'll be honest with you but there are good quality helmet cleaning kits out there uh, have a look at them next one check your helmet good one this is the helmet inspection company in scotland uk 39 dollars uh, pound 39.99 they can actually x-ray and and kind of uh, all look into your helmet in detail you can send your helmet to them they will safely send it back great stuff if you even have a scruff and it bothers you is my helmet safe or you've had your helmet for a certain amount of years but you love it so much that you just want to uh, send it for inspection great company okay next one fuel can if you've got an old jerry can it's probably getting rusted from inside especially with this ethanol mixed fuel it's going to get rusted or just a big plastic fuel can fuel container for track days racing great next one generator for track days brilliant you know or generator for you know camping you know a very silent one honda do very expensive one but there are loads of companies out there clark all sorts um next one i've got a clark one shout out to my mate cal here from hyper motard king you know he's he's got a stunning hyper motard he's given me his uh clark expensive generator to keep for life cal uh, he's gonna kick my ass okay anyways next one um is canopy tent for track day or adventure you know just just look online uh, you'll plenty of out there uh, decals for the bike you can uh, there are um, companies in the uk who do them sublime designs is someone i used uh, you can gift your other half a full proper kind of um, you can say decals on the bike they also do shoes helmet suit all so sorts of decals a great bunch of people levi day uh, dell two golden chaps who work there great people i've done a full video on that sublime design search my channel somewhere or i'll leave a link underneath okay next one is fire extinguisher little fire extinguisher it's underrated i was in almera a few years ago this guy spilled fuel on an exten extension cable boom you know fire nearly started little fire extinguisher is great next one armored jeans armored all sorts you know we are getting into the retro bikes bike scene a lot these days armored jeans is a great great idea and that also includes uh, you know custom armored gloves uh, kind of old school style you know old school leathers speak to your other half uh, they can give you more uh, you know cafe racer there's a company in the uk urban rider company in the uk plenty of choices out there keyless petrol tank cap okay road race performance in the uk they sell twm branded italian caps you know fuel caps you don't need a key to open it you know for tracks racing and even for the road is great stays there it's brilliant easy open no problem next one um bobble hats dean ellison mca um uh, in leicester you know not only they do floor mats you know for the bike but they do bobble hats also road race performance i think if you buy 
something worth up to 50 pounds pound from there you get a bubble hat free then you've got gift cards you cannot go wrong with gift cards okay loads of companies out there do it speak to them you know i've got uh, uh, on my list i've got road race performance again uh, road race performance shropshire mca leicester you know speak to other companies bike hps dr bikes are they doing gift cards uh, speak to them next one on my list is oh my own merchandise has anyone bought my own merchandise? No, no one buys it. <laughs> I've, I've had a few sales on my merchandise. If you fancy it, go to my website, chasingtents.co.uk. Um, I've got all sorts of stuff on there. Most importantly, if you do buy anything from there, let me know what the quality was because all the stuff comes from America from uh, for some reason uh, on the uh, on the through my kind of uh, the way I do it. So uh, yeah, uh, check my website out, chasingtents.co.uk. It's got all sorts of stuff. And some of our merchandise, cups, leggings for women, all sorts, you name it. Okay, um, legging for women, women. I said men can also wear leggings and non-binary people. Okay, don't get offended. So yeah, massive list finished here. Sorry if the video was too long and sorry if I was quick because the list was massive. Trust me, even if this wasn't a gift thing for you, you must be watching this video during winter during covid like lockdown or during whatever and you must thought you know what my goodness you know for next year i'm going to buy that for my own self so i hope this list was handy i hope this was helpful if you like what i do support me like my video please i would be very grateful subscribe to the channel and look after yourself and thank you for your continued love i have a very small channel a small following but the people who follow me i love you guys because you guys are fantastic you send me some great messages Take care, guys. Look after yourself. Thank you.